Hey, Jonathan here at Colfax Math. Today I'm going to talk about the grade of a pipe, the length and the total fall. I'm going to talk about levels a little bit, what that second little line on the levels all about, and um, how to calculate the total fall given the length, how to figure out the grade given the fall and the length, or any combination there. Measure the height. Overnight on a Let's get started area. with the three different variables we're talking about. It's really a right triangle. The level part of the triangle is the overall length of the pipe or the board. The opposite leg right here, this is called the fall. And then the hypotenuse going down is going to be the grade. So it's really a right triangle. Um, this would be the right angle here. You could figure out any one of these pieces given any of the other two pieces. So usually this is the angle you're talking about right here, and it's represented usually in three different ways. I just move that up a little bit. So the grade is represented in three different ways. The first way, maybe the most common, is a percent. As a percent, common to see 1% grade, 2% grade, or 4% grade. So that's a, a pretty common way to look at grade, grades of pipes or of roads. This means it drops one unit. It has one unit of fall for 100 units of run, or two units of fall for 100 units of run. Another way to look at it besides a percent is to look at it, it as a ratio. As a ratio, what you're saying here is it's dropping one in a hundred. Right here, you're saying it's dropping two in a hundred, which is one in 50. And here you're saying it drops four in a hundred or one in 25. The third way to look at grade, whether you're talking about a roadway or a pipe, is inches per feet. So this would be inches per feet and you might see one eighth of an inch of drop per one foot, or this is pretty common, quarter inch per foot, or a half inch per foot. So they don't really look that similar, but in fact, all three of these are exactly the same. And the way you can figure that out is remember there are 12 inches per foot, so at a quarter inch per foot drop, you're dropping a quarter inch in 12 inches, or, right, so you're dropping a quarter inch in 12 inches, which is the same as dropping one inch in 48 inches. Right, if I multiply that by four, I multiply that by four to get a quarter inch drop is a quarter inch per foot, or one inch per 48 inches, one in 48 is pretty close to one in 50, which is pretty close to 2%. If you take a look at a level, usually it has to be a plumber's level, but you could see there's a second line on there, and that second line on there is a quarter inch per foot. So it doesn't matter if it's a short little torpedo level like this, a longer two foot level like this, this little line right there is quarter inch per foot or about 2%. And there's really no way to tell on a two foot level, you know, that the little bit of difference between one in 48 and one in 50. And here, let me show you on the whiteboard um, how you could even check that and how that works. I'm gonna hold my level right up to the whiteboard there and hold it level so that the bubble's right in between the lines. And then I'm gonna draw that line. I know you can't see the bubble, but it's level there. Now I'm gonna bring that level up till the bubble is touching the second line. So let me bring that right up to the camera. So I'm gonna bring this thing up so that the bubble will be touching that second line on the level. I'm gonna bring it up here, right about there. So there's my triangle, it's a pretty small little triangle, but you could see right here is my height, this is my level, 
and this is going to be my grade on top. So this is a two foot level. So the overall length of my pipe or whatever it is would be 24 inches. And then let's check. We'll check that overall height there is a half inch. I don't know if you could read that there, but it's a half inch to drop. So it drops a half inch in 24 inches or it drops a quarter inch per foot. So that little bubble is quarter inch per foot, or 2%, or one in, uh, one in 50. It doesn't seem like much of a grade right there, but in fact, it's enough to drain water out of a pipe, and that's why it's so common. So let's just do a few problems like that. So a good equation here, so total fall equals length times grade. So if I have a 10 foot long pipe, the length would be 10, my fall would be equal to the 10 foot times my grade. Let's say I want a 2% grade, I would take that 10 foot and multiply it by 2%. Easiest way to do that is multiply, uh, convert the percent to a decimal. So I have 10 feet times 0 0.02. I remember this is like an arrow sending the decimal over two places. So 10 times 0, 02 is um, 0 0.2 feet. So my answer is 0 0.2 feet. 0 0.2 feet is 0 0.2 times 12 inches, which is about two and a half inches. So a 10 foot pipe drops about two and a half inches. Okay, let's do another one. So again, total fall is equal to the length of the pipe times the grade. So now let's say I have a 20 foot long pipe. How much is the fall when I have a 20 foot pipe and the grade is a quarter inch per foot? So I have to do this a quarter inch per foot but I'm not gonna, I, my units have to be the same. So I have to do a quarter inch divided by a foot, 12 inches. I'll do this one on my calculator. I'm gonna take a quarter, divide it by 12, right, put that the same inches. That's gonna give me that 2%. I take that 0 0.02 times the 20, and I get 0.42. So that's 0.42 feet. That 0.42 is in feet. So I have to take that 0.42 and multiply it by 12 inches if I want to go to inches, and it's going to be five inches. So a 20 foot pipe with a grade of a quarter inch per foot, the amount of fall would be equal to five inches. Let's go ahead and calculate the grade of a certain pipe that's already existing. So we're gonna use the same equation. Fall is equal to the length of pipe times the grade. But now I have an existing pipe. I'm gonna measure the overall fall that's existing. Let's say it currently drops seven inches. Let's say the length of the pipe is 20 feet times the grade. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna keep that as a variable and call that G. So this is the thing I wanna get by itself. I want to get the grade by itself. I divide both sides by 20 feet. That'll actually get um, the grade by itself. So grade is going to be equal to the fall divided by the length. And then I'm going to take that 7 divided by 20. 7 divided by 20 is 0.35. So it drops 0.35 inches per foot. So if you need a minimum of a quarter inch per foot, quarter inch is 0.25, this grade is actually 0.35. So that's how you calculate grade given fall in length. Again, you need to have at least two of the variables to solve for the third variable, but if you have length and grade, you can find fall, or if you have fall and length, you can find grade, or if you have fall and grade, you can find the length you need. So this is a quick overview on what grade is, calculating fall and length and grade, uh, and also what that little bubble is inside your level. So if you're new to this channel and you like it, 
go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, like to hear your comments below. This is Colfax Math. It's really all about practical math, math in the uh, work site. And hit like if you like the video. I'd like to hear your comments. Thank you.